current take, make, use, dispose linear economy places a heavy burden on the world's natural resources. In 2012, Europe consumed over 5 billion tonnes of material, generating over 2.5 billion tonnes of solid waste and throwing 1.6 billion tonnes into the ground as landfilling. The key objective of the circular economy is to retain both the volume and value of the materials in the economy for as long as possible, through the extension of the working life of the product or the recirculation of materials and products. From a waste management perspective, waste prevention is at the top of the hierarchy and treatment techniques cascade down. In 2012, only 1 billion of the 5 billion tonnes of material consumed in Europe was recovered. Currently, over 3 million people are employed in circular economy activities across Europe. This could double by 2030 if circular economy principles are fully adopted. Municipal solid waste represents only 10% of total waste generated in Europe, and yet it's one of the most polluting categories of waste, with the highest potential for environmental improvement through better management. Two important 2030 targets set out in the proposed revision of European waste policies are to reduce landfill to a maximum of 10% of municipal waste and to prepare 65% of municipal waste for reuse and recycling. The two targets are currently interlinked, with the challenge of moving over 50 million tonnes of waste from landfill disposal to recycling. In six member states, less than 10% of municipal waste is going to landfill, but unfortunately, 11 member states are landfilling over six times this amount. One member state already recycles over 65% of its municipal waste, while others are far behind, with a quarter of member states recycling less than 20%. Adoption of current best practice in terms of the policy policies, collection systems and waste management technologies used represents the best means of bringing the current poor performing member states up to speed. Food waste represents an ethical, economic and environmental issue. While 800 million people in the world go hungry every day, 51 million tonnes of Europe's edible food is wasted each year. Over half of this comes from households. The 51 million tonnes of edible food waste costs the European economy 143 billion euros each year. Depletion of limited natural resources, such as water, is a problem. Food production and processing accounts for nearly two-thirds of daily water consumption in Europe. Preventing edible food being wasted is the primary policy objective. Plastic is one of the largest and most visible waste streams, accounting for 80% of marine litter in the world's oceans. Plastic packaging accounts for 62% of total EU plastic waste. Only about a third of this is currently recycled. By 2025, a minimum of 55% of plastic packaging must be recycled. While two member states have already met the target, seven member states have recycling rates below 30%. What are some of the potential barriers to making more progress towards a circular economy? Heavy investment in energy from waste is diverting waste from recycling. Unclear definitions and different methods of calculating performance are resulting in the realised savings and progress being lower than projected. And there's a lack of appetite for tackling the behavioural changes needed for successful waste prevention programmes. What technological changes are required? Examples include precision sorting of mixed plastics, technologies that generate higher purity secondary materials, and valorisation of bio-waste, such as the inedible parts of food waste. What policy interventions are required? For example, pay as you throw on residual waste to drive down the high volumes of mixed waste being collected from households and to reduce the level of municipal solid waste being generated. Quality protocols for recycling to ensure secondary materials are of the highest value. Greater synergy between waste management and energy strategies and better enforcement of existing policies and championing of best practice.